Hello! Today I'm going to show you a classic Cypriot dish called Ophelia, which is pork in wine. So you'll need two pork tenderloins. These are about 800 grams in total, and you want to remove the silver membrane. Otherwise it will be tough when you cook it. Um, cut the pieces into cubes. Try and keep them the same size. So when I cut the cubes from the bottom, they're a good size to have. When you get into the middle of the tenderloin, they become a bit bigger, so I cut those in half. Then two big tablespoons of coriander seeds and crush them in a pestle and mortar. If you don't have one, use a rolling pin and bash them. You don't want a fine powder. You're looking for something like this. Then add that to the pork. Add two bay leaves and a pinch of cinnamon. If you have a stick, use that. I thought I did, but I didn't. Give that a mix together. And then you want to add a good wine that you would drink because you're not going to use it all, so you're going to want to finish it later. I used about half a bottle. You want to cover the meat because the pork will drink it. So put in as much as you want really, but I used half a bottle and I drank the rest. Give that a mix together. Then cover with cling film and store in the fridge for between four to 24 hours. The longer you leave it, the deeper the color will be of the pork when you take it out. I left mine for five hours and it's taken on a nice color as you can see, but it will go a really dark purple the longer you leave it. What you then need to do is drain the meat on kitchen towel. If you don't, when you come to fry it, it, it will boil more than fry. So pat it dry and then heat some olive oil in a pan with some salt and pepper. Fry the pork for two minutes each side in batches. Don't overcrowd the pan again because it will boil, not brown. Once you've browned the meat, do the next batch and when everything is ready, add all the pork back into the pan. Add about a tablespoon of honey. Add some of the wine marinade I didn't use it all, I used about half. And then I put the lid on, well, half on, and I simmer that for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending. Then I add some tomato puree at the end for about a minute, just to give the dull wine color a nicer, rich, redder color. And then it's ready. So we serve that with well, I serve it with bulgur pilaf because that's a traditional accompaniment. You can see the recipe on my page as well for that. And I also serve that with a cabbage salad and Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is the perfect accompaniment to the pilaf and it also cuts through the richness of the pork. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's one of my favourites. Bye for now.